going through right now and come back to the Lord. He's going to take care of us. He's going to be with us. I promise you that. Come on on this journey with me and let's do this together. Together, we're going to help you find Christ and we're going to make sure that we know that you're here and that you're going to be well taken care of. I promise you that throughout this video, the tips I'm going to give you are going to be tips that are going to help you succeed in finding your faith. And tip number three is going to be great. There's five tips total. And at the end of the video, I've got a bonus tip for you as well. But tip number three, it's going to be a good one for you guys. So come on with the journey. Join me. Let's do this. Let's get you finding faith. Let's get you back on track. Over 40, we're going to do this together. Remember, you can't carry this burden by yourself. This, bur this burden, it's too much. You're going to have to find help. You're going to have to find a support system. The support system is here. That's what Corby's community is all about. Like I said, we're looking for 10,000 people to help carry this burden on you. You're not alone. I've been doing lives recently, and the lives are there for us to see and to be here for you. So I want you to know that you're not alone. You're with me now, and I've got you. I've got you. I'm here for you. We're making a little bit of coffee. So whatever you need, get comfortable. Watch the video to the end, because like I said, the bonus video and tip number three are going to be here. This matters to me because I care. As a former wildland firefighter, I've been through a lot. I've seen a lot. I have mental health issues. I have struggles. But you know what I did find? I found faith and I found Christ. And I've got a wife and children. And this is what it's all about. Taking care of your family, your wife, your kids, and everything else that goes with that. Through this journey, we're going to find out that you can do the same things. Whether you're single, married, it doesn't matter. Christ is going to be with you. I promise you that. You can't do it on your own. The first thing you're going to have to do is come out and find us. We're here. I'm here. Just don't feel hopeless. When you feel hopeless, that's when you're like at the bottom. So we got to get that hope turned around. We got to get you up, get upstairs and we got to get you on the right path. Open that Bible. If you have a Bible, open that Bible to the first page you see and just start reading it. Something on that page will connect with you and it's going to make you feel really great. I promise you, you guys, I promise you, I promise you, God found me and gave me peace. And I'm here to share that and let it do it for you too. I, I promise you it's going to be here and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome. You have a purpose and I'm going to help you find it. We're going to do this together through caffeine, the power of God, the power of YouTube. We're going to do this and it's going to matter. I promise you that. Here's the five tips. Like, like I said, wait till the last one. It's a good one. So far, if you've liked this video and we get it going, hit that like button. I don't normally say these things, but this needs to get out and this needs to help 10,000 people. I want to help 10,000 people. Hit that like button. Like I said earlier, tip number one, don't struggle alone. You can't be by yourself, you guys. You can't be alone. I need you to realize that in order for this to work, you need a community. And the first thing you're going to do is ask for help. The help is here. I'm right here for you. All you have to do is grab one of my comments or one of my videos, comment on it. I get a notification on my phone. You say, Corby, I need help instantly. No matter what I'm doing, I'll send you a quick prayer, a quick, how are you? Motivation real quick. It's super simple. We're going to do this. We're going to do it together. We're going to get through it. Don't carry the struggle alone. God sees every tear. God sees every worry and every sleepless night knowing that if you have sleepless nights, I'm, I'm helping you. It's because you can't sleep because something's on your mind. I'll be there for you. Let me know. I'll be there for you. Let, let go. Another key is to let go of the feelings that you have, of feeling let down by yourself. You have no faith. You have no hope. You got to come to it. I promise you, you guys, it's going to be so excited about this. I'm so excited to share this video. The power of prayer when you have found the power of prayer and the power of life and being able to be there with people and you can just say, dear God, I miss you today. I need your help. I want you to be with me. Please take this fear away. Take my anxiety away. Give me the strength, the know-how, the wisdom that I need to carry upon my day. I need your help, Lord. I need you and I need you now. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. Don't be afraid to ask for what you want. God's going to deliver exactly what you want at exactly his timing. Remember, it's his timing, not yours. That's a lot of people have problems with that because it's patience. So keep patient, keep with God, and know that he's going to be with you each and every day. I promise you. 
Don't be perfect in your prayer. There's no wrong way to pray. And anybody ever says that, that you're praying wrong, I got a video on that. Go check it out. There is no wrong way to pray. Your way is the correct way to pray. Tip number two, not sure how to say anything. I, I did a video on this as well. I did a video on this as well. There's no wrong way to pray. If you don't know how to pray, super simple. If you have a worry, take your worry, take the worry that you have and put dear God in front of it and help me behind it. Dear God, I'm struggling in my relationship. Help me. Dear God, my finances are a shambles. Help me. The help is there. Dear God, help me. You're going to have it. God's going to be there for you. I promise you. I promise you. You might ask me why. Why are you doing this over for over 40s? I'm 49 years old. I've got life experience. I've got life history behind me. I've got some things that have happened in my life that I can help people over 40 or under 40. 40 is a middle age group of people. But if somebody comes in here and is 21, we're going to help them. We're not going to turn them down. We're going to be there for them. We're going to help them. We're going to see them through. We're going to get them the help they need. And if somebody comes in at 60, I'm going to ask for help because I don't know it. Maybe a 30 year old has advice for me. That's totally fine too. I, I, people resonate with that. However it is, it doesn't matter. Life's not, life is short. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. Whoever we can get the help for. But if I directed it at the, the 40 year olds, I'd really like to direct it at first responders, but I don't want to go too far down because then if like only 5,000 first responders respond, then I miss the whole flu of people that might need the help because they see first responders. So the age of 40 is a medium age and I want to be there for them. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to fill them with passion. We're going to fill you with purpose. We're going to fill you with faith and we're going to get you a fresh start. Passion, purpose, and faith. And it's here. It's going to be a meaningful part of the journey that we're going through together. I promise you that through these things, we're going to get you the direction and the help that you need. I'm here for you. Like I said, the only time I'm not going to see something is if I'm, at, if I'm sound asleep and you guys find a video, you reach out and you say, Corby, can I have a, can I have a prayer for this? But I tell you what, being 40, I use the restroom like 500 times a night because I drink water all day and I look at my phone. So if there's something there that you need help with, I'm going to respond right back to you no matter where in the world you are no matter what your fear is i'm gonna have your back i'm gonna have you i'm gonna take care of you you're not gonna be alone we're gonna be here for you i promise you that tip number three oh tip number three is coming tip number four tip number four finding christ is a journey remember it's not the destination it's the journey tip number four is the journey that you're going to start on with christ when he gets when he picks that path you guys when he when he lays out that path for you and you start walking down that pathway wherever it may go oh my gosh guys flip-flop friday flip-flop friday wear your flip-flops on friday take your shoes off stand on the holy ground ask god what you want through the dirty ground he's going to clean your souls all the way up to your heart and that pathway is going to be led right out for you watch my testimony literally you guys my testimony the bonus video is evident that Christ will break your path wide open for you. Don't believe me? It's the 10 day challenge. It's the bonus video. Watch all 10 videos. Save that one for last. I promise you it'll be worth it. Let go of your past and embrace your future. I'm here for your future. I'm here for you. I promise you that. The past is the past. They always say X's are X's for a reason. The past yesterday, take something that happened yesterday, move it till tomorrow and positivity. Your path is your future. Embrace that. It's going to be here for you. The pathway is going to be fantastic and I'm going to be right here for you. And when you start on this pathway, I want you guys to give me updates and give me what's going on. How was your yesterday? What's tomorrow look like? What are we going to do for you? That's just, it's here, you guys. It's, I'm so excited for this. Oh, I'm so excited, you guys. It's so awesome. Past mistakes. Don't worry about them. The past mistakes are we learn from our mistakes. If you're not making mistakes, you're not learning. They say in the construction business, if you're doing construction and you want to learn something new, if you're not, if you've only ran bulldozers and now you want to run an excavator and you're uncomfortable, you're not learning. If you haven't found the Bible or God and you're uncomfortable, you're learning. Remember that. If you're uncomfortable, you're learning. God's got you. Your pathway is clear and your feet are being cleansed. I promise you that. I promise you that. God's got you. Forgiving and loving. 
grace are waiting. Forgive and loving, grace are waiting. Forgiving is hard. I got issues with that one myself, but we'll get into that some other day. Tip number five. Remember, you guys, there's a bonus tip. Can't wait for that one. Stick with the bonus tip. Practice forgiving yourself. Practice forgiving yourself. For whatever happened yesterday, maybe you were at the grocery store, somebody hit your uh, car with their cart, didn't do any damage, you got upset with them, say, hey, you know what, today's a new day, I'm sorry for yesterday, God will forgive you, you'll move forward. It's all a learning process. If you're not learning, you're not doing it, and it's just not there, it's coming, it's coming. Don't be afraid, like I said in, earlier in the night, or earlier in the videos, don't be afraid to make mistakes. There is no wrong way to pray. There's a video on that as well. There's no wrong way to pray. However you decide to pray is your special way of getting with Jesus. You will find it. I promise you that. I promise you that. Like I said, letting go of the past, having no regrets. God will open new doors for you. On this walkway, God's rejection is your protection. So if you want something and you didn't get it, God's rejection is your protection. Some, he saw somebody somewhere talking about you that he didn't like. So he closed that door. But where he closed that door, another door is going to open. And that door is going to take you right down the pathway of freedom. And at the end of the hallway down there is God waiting for you to say, I made this left turn for you and you were supposed to go right. Come with me. And down that corner, he's going to be there with you. He's going to be there for you. And he's going to take care of you. I promise you that. Just gotta, just gotta believe. Just gotta believe. I invite you to walk with me on this very journey. I've just started this, trying to help ten thousand people. And when, when my YouTube channel gets to eleven thousand people, I will know that we have helped at least ten thousand because I know that there's a thousand people out there that want to help people find it. And the way they do that is through reposting this video, watching this video commenting on this video, telling people about this video so that they can get out and reach the people that we need to reach to help find Christ and get them back on track. I do lives all the time. My lives are fun. They're interactive. We deal with a lot of people. That's okay. We need those people in our lives and we have each other. We've, we're building a community. 350 of you guys, or three, I'm sorry, 365 of you guys here right now. So exciting. We're growing. I'm staying up late so that I can reach people. We can build this community together together it's just you need to come whether just being the beginning to explore your faith or you want to deepen the faith you already have come with me on this journey we're going to build a relationship and every you're going to find so many people that i can already name on my channel that you even comment on one of their posts they're going to take care of you and i am too it takes time here's a final tip here's a final tip it takes time you guys it takes time YouTube, my videos, they're not getting out there. Consistency is key. You have to be consistent with this. You have to be consistent with Christ. He's not going to answer you tomorrow, but believe me, he's already working on you. He is already working on you. My camera decided to quit following me for a second because I went too low. He's going to take care of you. Consistency. Remain consistent. Every single morning, you're going to find on my community tab on YouTube that I'm going to post a prayer every single day now. That's consistent for me. Community tab hasn't worked for me, but I'm going to remain consistent in it. I want you to remain consistent as well. If you see this and you're this far into the video at 15 minutes, I want you to comment and tell me every single day when you do this, pick a video and say, I'm being consistent. This is what I'm doing, Corby. And I'm going to be proud of you. And I'm going to tell you I'm proud of you. And you're going to do it. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate you for being here on this video. This video has been I've been, I scripted it all day yesterday for like six or eight hours and I just want it to get out there and I want you to know that I appreciate each and every single one of you. This is the, this is the most powerful video I have created. I'm learning how to do this still. I hope my title and thumbnail work so that this video gets out there because it really needs to. I just want you to encourage you to be part of the mission because if you start on this mission, I guarantee you that five maybe five weeks, whatever, five days, it doesn't matter when, that you're going to be one of the ones that needed help. And we're going to help you. People are going to help you. And then you're going to find out that you're going to start helping other people. 
and the things that you learn, you're going to take and be able to say, hey, you know what? I want to do what Corby's doing. I want to find a couple thousand more people. I want to find a couple hundred people. I want to find five people that I can help, that I can reach out and put to, in contact with Corby, and we can do this together. Because this channel is for all of us. This channel is not for me. It's for everybody. And I want you guys to see that. And I want everybody to see that because I know it's coming. Let me know in the comments that you're ready by telling me your favorite color. I want to know your favorite color. I want to know your favorite color because your color matters to me and we're here for you. And then if you telling me your favorite color, I will know that you've seen this and things beyond. I promise you. Watch my testimony, you guys. Watch my testimony. Things are going to change in your lives beyond you ever know. And I bet you guys almost forgot. The bonus tip. We did the bonus tip, you guys. We did the bonus tip. But tip number three, I told you. I told you tip number three <coughs> is going to be the best one. Tip number three, you guys, get your coffee, get your soda, get your water. If you're having it, raise your hands. Raise your hands. Tip number th tip number three, and this is the final one. The, we're coming to an end. The bulldozer is tracking into the lineup, and we're going to park that thing for the night. Reflect on who you are and where you want to go. Who you are and where you want to go. You've been doing this, 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 and this, but I saw this video, and now I want to go down and do this. Just start. Take that first step. At the end of the day, I track that bulldozer into the lineup, and I let her cool down. I take off my GPS, and that's where I want to go. I want to go to the lineup. I want to park. I want to get in my truck, come home to my family, and be there for my family. Reflect on where you are and where you want to go, because where you're going is with me, Corby, and my community, and we're going to take you there, and we're going to be on it, and we're going to do it together. Reflect on your life as well. It's all a reflection. Are you getting what you want? Are you where you want? Are you where you're going? You're going to go there. I promise you, you're going there. This is your invitation to reconnect and rediscover your purpose. You have a purpose and your purpose, I'm going to help you succeed. You let me know what your purpose is and we're going to help you succeed. Do this. I promise you, do this. Let's do it together.